Kate, how are you? I've been wandering around the house finding uh, random CDs that are just left everywhere and in the car and in the garage and we're playing the match game <laughs> and see what's in here. <laughs> so I thought, well, hey, I'll just jump on here as well. You're welcome to come up if you'd like, but I'm just sorting CDs and I just thought I'd just noodle. Excited to see your secret spins today. I'm trying to hear what Dave's listening to upstairs. I got a surprise day off today. Uh, I didn't realize that the calendar said we had a day off. Hello, Catherine. Getting ready for work. Good to have you here. Yeah, I thought I would be at work today as well. And then I uh, bumped into a kid at Walmart and they were saying how excited they were about doing something today. I was like, how are you doing something on Monday? We had the day off. I didn't even know. <laughs> so there you go. The wind is blowing pretty hard. Every now and then there's a piece of tin on the roof that, or of the roof of the barn that keeps flapping and it'll bang really loud. So hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Wild and exciting things happening in your world. I'm really kind of shocked that I filled an entire tub of CDs that were just all over the place. But I did. And I'm hoping I can play the match game and find where some CDs uh, are hiding. Well, glad to have you here. Don't feel obligated to stay or anything. I know you got to work. Uh, and I'm honestly just noodling. I had zero plan. Um, I just thought, I'll push the button. See who's out in the world. In the daytime world. Because that's a different place for me. Is being out and free in the day. Bunch of Trish CDs. Always and forever. Trish is a star. If you don't know DJ Trish, you need to. Um. Uh, Probably about the sweetest person God ever put on this planet. Well, I got a bunch of CDs. If you like CDs, I got a bunch of them. And I, every time I go to the thrift store, there's bound to be something that I need. Well, there's more Trish CDs. She keeps me supplied. She's my road trip buddy. Every time we go on a road trip, some Trish CDs have to go along with us. <laughs> well, I understand. Normally, I would be at work, too. So, although having my own Jean Rayburn up here to help along, help me along would be really funny and awesome, um, I totally get it. Camera Obscura. I haven't seen that CD cover in forever. Bratmobile. I haven't seen that CD cover in forever. Trance to Planet. I don't know if I ever had the CD cover to that one. OMD, that should have a cover somewhere. Paul Van Dyke. There should be a CD cover to that. Although, see, we had a flood here. Hello, Trish. Yes, I was just talking about you. <laughs> Your spidey senses are correct. I was just looking at all my Trish CDs. These stay in my car when we go on road trips. We listen to them all. So, and this one's, let's see, 2023, 2023. I don't think they're 2023. They're pretty recent. But, yeah, they get well played in the car, for sure. I was saying you're my road trip buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a flood um, a few years back, and it was over eight feet of water in our uh, workshop where we print T-shirts, stuff like that. And uh, so there were a lot of CDs that were lost, they wouldn't let me go down in there when they first started scooping it out uh, because they said that it was probably a lot of like sewer water and stuff in there. Disgusting, I know. But uh, once it got down to a certain level, I found a book of CDs and I found a few CDs that I thought, well, the disc isn't hurt. I mean, the paper may be disgusting, but the disc isn't hurt. So me and a friend of mine uh, took all the CDs that we could grab that were practical to grab and uh, 
dried them out, Windexed them all, tried to save as many as we could. The most heartbreaking thing to me about a, a, a flood, there's Trish, is uh, losing my mixtapes. Because I had, had mixtapes from the time I started getting mixtapes in, what was that, like, sixth or seventh grade when I started trading with people. And uh, I kept every one of those because to me that's like, it's very personal, especially back when you had to do that on a cassette. It takes so long. So I don't know. I thought it was just like, it's a good memory of someone. And a lot of times those people introduced me to so much great music that it kind of broke my heart to have some of those uh, cassette tapes gone in the flood. But, you know, there's nothing you can do besides just uh, say, oh, well. <laughs> It's not going to do you any good. You can cry about it, but it's gone. <laughs> so what are you up to today, Trish? So Nate's about to work. Catherine's about to work. What are you into? I'm really pretty shocked at how many CDs were just randomly everywhere. And there's cassettes, and we don't even have a, I think our cassette player finally conked out. 38 Special and Eddie and the Cruisers. I think those are going to get traded. We're also making a big old pile of stuff to trade up. Retired and loving it. Well, I'm jealous. Anderson, Bruford, and Wakeman Howe. There you go. We found that at the thrift store the other day. Along with Brewer and Shipley. I have a feeling since the cassette player is gone, those are probably going to get traded. Volunteer job today. Nice. Hospital gift shop. I bet that's fun. I mean, job is work, but I think volunteering for the hospital would probably be Really nice. Ooh. I'm scared of like, there's so many bees and stuff and they've all gotten in. There's a screened in porch, but there's still a bunch of them that have gotten in here. And I have a, I have a peony bush that's not too far right outside the door. And the, uh, the wasp love it. They're crawling all over that thing. Rick Astley. I think you can go, although, is that the correct disc? Let's we'll see. Yes. I think I can trade Rick. Although I might ought to keep him just as a gag you. It's Nana. 99 Luft Balloons. Well, hello, Garner. How are you? Digging through CDs that I found all over the house. It's fun. There's a CD player in the shop. Nice. I am going to give him up. Rick is gone. I probably should send it in somebody's uh, package just to one last roll of the Rick. Natural Born Killers. I don't know about that one. I might keep that one for a little bit. Hello, Paul. Zoo Animal on Wheels. How are you? Danzig. That's a Dave call on that one. Jane's Addiction. So what? That's just a single. I can let that one go. So, yeah, it's it's all these. We go to the, I, I'll edit that. I go to the thrift store all the time. But when I go to the thrift store, I mean, if it's a CD that's a buck, there's a good chance I'm going to pick it up, even if I think we might already have it, just in case we don't already have it. So, yeah, I've got a pile of them. There's a guy that has a book out about the history of cassettes reading it pass it on to you uh sure that'd be awesome if you're done with it that'd be great thank you trish yeah that'd be cool yes fragile well it's not got its cover but charlton's uk gonna keep that one jamiroquai i'm gonna keep that hmm. english electric not sure what that is paul carrick Hmm, 
I listened to that a good bit when I first got it. But it's Grace Potter and the Nocturnals inside, and the match game begins. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta figure out where Paul Carrick went. Is Jim Rick. That's the other thing is when we're driving, when I'm driving, Dave's probably better about this than I am. When I'm driving, if I'm listening to something, whatever the next CD is, uh, gets the last CD into it. So you can track the trail of my listening by whose CD is in the wrong things. Job's Greatest Rap Singles. This is actually a really fun listen. Hello, Fred. How you doing? Everything but the girl. Are any of these the right one? Hmm. This would probably make Robert Z have some kind of heart palpitations, seeing how they're not cared for properly. <laughs> but they're listened to and loved. <laughs> Anything funk and soul, I'll take it if you're getting rid of it. I'll, I'll do that, absolutely. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to kind of thin out. Perry Como, still sealed. Michael Buble, still sealed. Those can go, because I ain't listening to them. Sting Sings. The Living Sea. I think it was from my IMAX kind of daily. Where did Paul Carrick go? Let's discuss. Where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> Hannibal soundtrack. That actually is in there. That's pretty cool. Dave may want that one. He's a soundtrack freak. He loves them. I really liked this CD. It's fun. But I think yeah, it's cracked in there. I'll give it one last listen before I decide. Tim, how much you want for them? Oh, what? Funk and Soul CDs? You get anything free you want, Trish. <laughs> Fred, now, calm down. <laughs> uh, a benefit compilation in defense of animals with Michael Stipe, Skinny Puppy, Helmet, Sarah McLaughlin, of course, Concrete Blonde, and Sister Psychic. That's fun. Hmm. Did I listen to this? I did. Yeah, that's a pretty good playlist on that one. I don't know if you can read that on this crazy stream yard business, but it's a pretty good CD. It'll probably get traded, though. I bought this one because it had rabbits on it. Because that's what I do. Those are pretty rabbits. I hated the CD, though, so goodbye. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, this guy, <laughs> uh, this has gotten a lot of listen in the car. <laughs> it's Fergalicious. This is a good uh, compilation. More chill with more Chiba and stuff like that. Downtime. A good little playlist on there. But I'll probably, oh, it's got Luscious Jackson and stuff like that on it. That's fun. I'll give that one another listen. Sarah McLaughlin next month. Awesome. Uh, I saw Sarah McLaughlin. 93? I think it was in 93. Yeah. Uh, a friend took me to go see her. And I didn't realize that she thought it was a date. That was really awkward and weird. But there you go. <laughs> but it was a great show. It was a great show. <laughs> Paul Carrick singing or Mike and the Mechanics. Or at least he was 20 years ago. That's where his bike, uh, bio cuts off. And then he fell into obscurity. That's a great CD. That's really fun. But inside, fish. <laughs> okay, I think I saw the C the uh cover for that. There's OMD. Oh, but it's got everything but the girl in it. We have a match. <laughs> this is so thrilling, I know. 
Uh oh, Nathan's getting VCLT. VCLT incoming. I love everything but the girl, but I think I'm going to let this one go. Everything but the girl is awesome. Making those hard choices. Not really. We used to load everything on the computer. Do you still load all of your CDs onto your computer, Trish? I think we have like two or three hard drives of uh, music, but I think at this point it's like kind of, uh, it's, it's frustrating because when I go to make a, a mix, I'll say, I know I had that CD. I know I loaded it in. Uh, but I can't find any of the songs off of it. And Dave will say, it's in that other hard drive that's in the closet. It doesn't exist to me if I can't find it. Biz, what's up? <laughs> James has a Sarah McLaughlin above his toilet. Interesting. Okay. When you sit down, you think, in the arms of the angels. Oh, here's a booty. Destination Lust. Nakedness. Yep. That's a good CD too. No idea where it is. The search continues. So who all is streaming today? Dave's listening to the Beastie Boys. I can hear it upstairs now. That I can recognize. Got an awesome mix from a friend of mine. What do you want to bet? There's no disc inside. No disc inside. This was a fun one. I got this one uh, when High Tide Records had a sale. And uh, they had some of the CDs for like just two or three bucks. I was like, yep, I'll try it. Yep, I'll try that too. Of course. Oh, did you hear that turkey? There's a turkey goblin over there. I'll try not to talk up all the time. So we can make him, maybe can hear him goblin. He may come right on up to the yard. When they um, have their little, they have like little family parades when they, when they're, uh, the babies start hatching out. But I don't think that'll happen quite yet. Dinner with Zach, but with no disc. Frustrating. There we go. There's one with the, with the nice cover in it. But the disc is in there. It's just a burned one, though. I often don't care if it's just burned. As long as you got the music, right? Don't look, Robert Z. It's cracked. And burned. And crazy. <laughs> oh, you know, no, I'm not going to be on that long. Nate, we'll be there. Uh I didn't intend to stream right now. I just thought I would just because I was sitting here and didn't have anything else better to do. So <laughs> on a surprise day off that I didn't realize I was getting. Downward spiral. It's actually in there. But that seems like, like one of the thin boxes. Like maybe it was part of a bigger box or a set. I don't know. Or maybe somebody just re Oh, wait. Here's the thing that goes with it. But that seems too thin, too. Maybe there was a book in there with it. I don't know. Obviously a thrift store, thrift store purchase. Dancing lunch at Nate's. Absolutely dancing lunch at Nate's. We'll be there or be square. We got 20 reggae classics somewhere. Got some charlatans. Is that the real disc? It is. Is there more than one disc stacked? No. Not of a nature. And it's the correct CD. Keeper. Y'all ever seen this movie? Coffee and cigarettes. I found that at the thrift store. I love it when I find something like this that I think, who in town had this that I don't know? Hmm. <laughs> Just because I always think nobody in town is going to like the same stuff that I do. So yeah, I hope y'all had a great Easter. I can guarantee you this is not my CD. 
Oh, wait, maybe it is. This one I got is the thrift. It's a K-pop. Uh, I have no idea what it is, honestly. But it came with a big old book, and it's fancy schmancy. I figured a kid would want it um, at Christmas time, but they did not. So, okay, maybe that uh, phase is over of everybody liking K-pop. How's the compacting going? Uh-oh, Reality Bites. See ya. Paul Weller. Sudden pattern. I honestly can't remember what that was like, so I'll listen to it again. Man or Astro Man. Well, you want to bet there's no CD? No CD. That's shameful, honestly. Turkey. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> the turkeys in the in the day usually means we're going to hear coyotes at night. <laughs> As I break it, time bomb recordings. got social distortion on it. I don't know that I ever listened to that yet. A single soundtrack? Yeah. I would say you're probably right. There might be one in the pile. I mean, there's a good chance it was at the thrift store, which means it's a good chance I probably picked it up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I buy just for giggles anyway, like Fergie. And then I suddenly find that I actually enjoyed listening to it, and then I'm filled with shame. Not really. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> Queen Cobra is taking a bath again. Uh, uh, he's upstairs listening to the Beastie Boys, and he said he was purging some of his uh, movies or records or trying to decide what to take. We got real good trade credit, so now he's on a roll. What artist do you see at the thrift store more than any other gospel? We see gospel stuff, gospel stuff, gospel stuff. Or... Like that uh, kind of, what do you, like the mega church Christian pop kind of things. That kind of thing we see a lot. Uh, yeah. But there's another store we go to that if they decide that it's very scratch, they put a VS on it. That's what that is, is a VS, believe it or not. But a lot of times they are not very scratched at all. I don't know why they do that, if they're just overstocked or what. But New Order, I don't care if it says VS on it. I'll take it for 68 cents. And I'll keep it for 68 cents. You mean real artist. <laughs> Jim Reeves, yeah, yeah, we see a lot of that. Enya, Nora Jones. Yeah, um... Uh, Hmm, I'm trying to think of what I've seen a lot of lately. Our thrift store that's in our town, we've seen a lot of uh, kind of 90s stuff, but more like on the pop side, like Sheryl Crow. I've seen a lot of that lately. Uh, none of that do I want, so I usually just kind of overlook it pretty quick. But uh, I've also picked up Ray Conniff, yeah. Well, as far as records are concerned... Tons of Burt, was it Burt Campfort? That kind of thing. There's Johnny Nash. I can see clearly that's not supposed to be in there. But uh, as far as CDs go, it's usually like 90s stuff. Well, even with the records, it's gospel, gospel, gospel. We talk about a money making powerhouse. Gospel. I'm telling you. Whoops, there's another CD falling out. Bruce Hornsby. Empty. Slamming ultimate rap hits. This is another one that I've listened to a lot in the car. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. <laughs> a lot of classical comps. See you later, Catherine. Good to see you. 
and it's got big other dynamite in it. There we go, slamming rat pits. I'm keeping that one. That was fun. Sweet. We got this one the other day for, um, I think we actually paid like six bucks for this one, which is a lot for us to pay at the used place, but Lords of Acid. <laughs> it's actually fun being stuck in traffic listening to Lords of Acid. That's definitely a keeper. Johnny Cash and Johnny Nash. Yeah, there's a big difference between Johnny Cash and Johnny Nash. I think he would too. I can see clearly. Absolutely. I got this for 68 cents the other day. And I was glad that they didn't put VS on it. Care Lullaby. It's just the single, but still. I had pretty much... I'm not a completist about anything, but uh, The Cure, for a very long time, I had to have everything, everything ever touched by The Cure, and I had a huge stack of CDs, and somebody was like, oh, I love them so much. Can I burn your CDs? I was like, sure, sure. So I gave them the whole stack and never saw them again, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> and that's why you write your name on them, right? No. This one I'll keep too. Although the CD has got one of the tabs dead. KLF. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh, that's gonna fall. Yeah, I'll keep Boy George and Culture Club too. There we go, Trish. More Trish CDs. Dream a little dream. Horrible. <laughs> We've been on a jag with uh old Corey feldman watching his live shows amazing uh, amazing the squirrel nut zippers christmas yeah i don't think i need to keep this old Corey. he's he's a lot to handle <laughs> uh, that feller's a mess the U.S. version of White Room needs a vinyl release. Absolutely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. What else have I got in this stack? Ah, there's a big bag of them, too. So some of this was actually purchased on purpose. <laughs> if that even makes sense. They're staying. He was a buck, so you know he was from the thrift. I think we go bye bye. Now that is a keeper. This was birthday present. Rocksteady collection. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at all that goodness. Does it have the right CDs? Yes, it does. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, hello, Tank. Are you about to go on as well? I'll jump over to your channel. Uh, and then Nate's about to go on too. Oh my goodness. So many people streaming these days. It's crazy. But I mean, I love it. But then it makes me hate going to work too, because then I have to pay attention to actual work. It's not going to, it's not going to come out well if I'm playing on a computer. I can tell this one went through the flood because it's all ripply. You see that? The paper's all rippledy. I tried my best. I had like all of my CDs with the the booklets out and fanned out and everything sitting on blankets trying to dry it out. Terrible. Hello, Jeffrey Boyle. How are you? No live today, but was surprised to see you here. Well, I got the day off and I didn't realize I had the day off. I know that's crazy, but I just assumed that we would be at work today and, uh, then I wasn't. I, I bumped into a kid at the uh, grocery store yesterday and they said, yep, it'll be nice to go. I think they were going to go to the park or some, something like that uh, today. And I was like, how are you doing that? Because we have the day off. Oh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> so yeah, shocked myself. But that just means I need to pay attention to the calendar. Duffy, did y'all ever listen to Duffy? I did back when she first came out, but uh, 
I don't really remember what she was like. So I'll give her another listen before I decide. I'm just digging through a pile of CDs and stuff that I had gotten at the thrift stores and that were left all around because I listen to music pretty much everywhere that I am. Uh, and so they end up spread all over the place, especially in the car. Uh, yeah, this one can go. <laughs> Like I said, I buy some things just for giggles and just uh, listen to them. That one can say goodbye. <laughs> Isn't there a spring break this week? No, we had spring break last week, which I thought, oh, I'll do videos and I'll get organized and my house will be clean and my flower beds will be done. And yeah, uh, they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I'm well on my way. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit done. I got several things. I got more painting done than anything, which needed to happen too, because uh, I had some, uh, had to hang some work in a coffee shop. Hello, David. How are you? Uh, but I didn't get nearly, I didn't get a fraction of what I needed to get done. I didn't really bond with this one as much as the pink one let her go there we go this is pink purple <laughs> this one i think i already have but just in case a dollar i mean I'll make double sure because i love this cd i loved this cassette i think it was another one that the cover got melted in my old bug we'll see what else is in that stack is that everything there's no telling what's it's a great way to spend a week. Yes, it was a great way to spend a week off. And I actually am going to say that uh, it felt like we had a vacation, which is really unusual because I usually end up working on trying to cram so much into it that it doesn't feel like a break. And then when the break is over, I feel like I need a break from the break, if that even makes sense. But yeah, it is what it is. Don Henley. I think I can let that one go. Although that's maybe a Dave choice because I don't think that was, I don't think I bought that one. Absolutely. Let's see. The Land of the Rising Ska. I haven't listened to that one in a long time. That's a keeper though. E.G. Daly, 80s superstar. Love her. Who has time to relax? Well, that's true. <laughs> it does. I, I think about uh, that uh, Andy Griffith show where the guy's like in such a hurry. And uh, yeah, that's kind of life. But I think about uh, how, how many hours we spent like snapping beans on the front porch or things like that. And I think, how in the world do we have so much time just to sit there and snap beans? Well, I probably didn't have my face in a screen. That was the first thing. <laughs> uh, I think we just busy ourselves up with craziness. Carla Pandeep. Definitely a keeper. And he's in the right place. Thank goodness. Bikini Kill. Gotta keep that one. And it's in its right place. Hallelujah. Guadalcanal Diary. Is this one in the right place? It is, thank goodness. And another Trish CD. <laughs> I told you they're everywhere. Everywhere I look, there's more Trish CDs. And I listen to them all. So there's that. Summer seemed to last forever when we were kids and they just fly by now. They sure do. They sure do. Way too fast. There's just too much to cram into everything. But I got to figure out a way to kind of flip that script, you know, how to make it where it's not quite so nutty all the time. Get back to chilling on the porch. Uh, even though it's probably not as amusing as, uh, I guess, scurrying about, but I think we need to spend more time hanging on the porch. You spend your life relaxing. Okay. <laughs> you're very, you're a lucky man then. <laughs> Buried in MTV back then. Yeah. Well, we didn't have MTV till 
well, we got cable, but then we had to use a toothpick to put between the buttons of the of the cable box so we could uh, get the channels that we didn't pay for. <laughs> Summer planning as an adult is realizing you basically have 12 weekends to get it all done. And if you get lazy for even one of them, you're screwed. Absolutely true. <laughs> Dead President soundtrack? This actually looks like a great soundtrack. I don't remember that one. This, I think this was a day of pickup. He usually won't go in the uh, thrift stores with me, but when he does, he finds some really great stuff. Um. Uh, Things that I often overlook. Big Audio Dynamite. At the Goodwill. You know I'm going to pick it up. I think I already have like two or three copies. And that's another thing. <laughs> but inside is Mojo Nixon. So, let's see if we can make a match there too. Although I don't think the cover's out here. Hmm. There's Bruce Hornsby, but it's in this new sound theory. The new sound theory one was a little bit more like, a, I want to say it was like kind of ambientish. I hate trying to think of like how to describe genres somehow. Like I can, it's so much easier just to play it. And then it's like, yeah, it sounds like that. That's why I'm not a music writer. Never plan anything over eight hours away. You can collect notes. You're a wise man, Fred. Never plan anything over eight hours away. And I think Dave would agree with that <laughs> wholeheartedly. He doesn't like it when uh, Mama will say, okay, now you're going to be here at exactly what time? And you'll be home which day? And he's like, just tell her we'll be there. Just, it, it'll be okay. <laughs> Yep. It's a good way to be, but a little, it's, it's difficult. Okay. What else have I got in this stack? I think, well, there's the dog of Flanders, that cartoon. Dirty Vegas. It's actually in there. Grateful Dead. Feels light not a good sign it's not in there so then the question remains where did they go there's ned's atomic dustbin but i don't know where it is this one is going to be i'm going to be in trouble if i lost that it's got to be around here somewhere so there's that all right guys well I looked through that. I looked through this. The search continues. There's living color. It's going in the box. I guess I'm going to go in the house and see if I can find any other random stacks of CDs that are hiding out. And uh, maybe the match game will be completed today. I mean, Mojo Nix is bound to be somewhere in the house. I know that cover's in there somewhere. I know uh, Johnny Nash. I think I've seen that cover somewhere. Sweet. I think came out of my CD book because I think it was went through the flood. Anyway, I have a mess to clean up. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. There's Dave looking through the window wondering what in the world I'm up to. Huh? I put on StreamYard. <laughs> He's making a face. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go make him a sandwich. We'll see you later. Bye, y'all.